Two are growing more convinced Donald Trump will be their opponent come November. Hillary Clinton has, le has a lead in the polls right now. Her rival Bernie Sanders is struggling in several key states. And as Arthi Pohl reports, even Sanders admits he's got his work cut out for him. This is a raucous crowd. I love it. Always rock star treatment, Democratic presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders has surprised everyone, surging ahead with momentum that had him nipping at Hillary Clinton's heels in Iowa, blowing past her in New Hampshire. This campaign goes national. But he was left in the dust in South Carolina, and that huge defeat may have set the tone for a critical voting day. Battling out for delegate supremacy on Super Tuesday, Sanders' campaign could be losing steam. If young people, if working class people come out to vote, we will do well. If the voter turnout is low, we'll be struggling. Leading with delegate count already, Clinton is also leading in the polls. In delegate rich states like Georgia and Tennessee, numbers show enormous support for Clinton on Super Tuesday. In Texas, the crown jewel of today's contest, Clinton is on top there too. In many of these southern Super Tuesday states, diversity counts. That's been an ongoing struggle for the Sanders campaign. African American voters overwhelmingly favor Clinton. So, barring any developments in her email investigation, Clinton appears to be set for coronation. I just don't see a path for Bernie Sanders. I really don't. So, assuming nothing legal happens out of the Justice Department, Hillary Clinton is going to be the nominee. Going in here? Okay. Clinton pledged she will work for every vote, but her confidence is undeniable. I don't know anything about David Duke, okay? Over the weekend, she even retweeted Bernie Sanders on Donald Trump's KKK controversy. I do want to be a president who remembers how people work together again. Clinton may be starting to shift her attention to Republican rivals, but Sanders can't be written off just yet. He's got the money to continue campaigning, raising $42 million last month, $6 million of that collected yesterday alone. This morning, Sanders cast a ballot in his home state of Vermont, one state it's nearly certain he'll take on Super Tuesday. Arthi Pohl, Global News, Washington. And you can track the Super Tuesday.